Russian Space Agency officials announced today a new date for the launch of three U.S. and Russian astronauts to the International Space Station. The next Russian International Space Station crew set off from Star City outside Moscow to the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Their mission is dedicated to the 50th anniversary of Yuri, Yuri Gagarin's historical space flight. Friends and relatives and colleagues of the crew members gathered to see the space crew off. Stargazers caught a glimpse of a spectacular sight on Saturday night. It's been called the supermoon, where the moon was closer to the Earth than it, was, than it has been since 1993. As a result, the moon appeared 14% bigger and 30% brighter than usual. The phenomenon is caused by higher and lower tides, which could cause trouble for ships. Haitian-born rapper Wyclef Jean is recovering from being shot in the hand during the country's historic runoff presidential election. An associate told AFP that the pop star was shot while in his car late Saturday. John was barred from running for presidency for failure to meet resident residency requirements. He says he did not see the attack by the opposition. The 41-year-old said that he will contribute to the rebuilding efforts by helping non-governmental organizations to invest in the country's future. The owner of Tacoma Theater is continuing his proposal to demolish the historic building. The building opened in 1924 and is protected on the under the Historic Landmark and Historic District Protection Act. The owner wants to open a business in place of the theater, which he says is too run down to restore. The, de the Department of Performing Arts production of Shakespeare's Measure for Measure opens this weekend at the Greenberg Theater. The production features a diverse cast that includes students majoring in biology, history, math, public communication, and many other fields in addition to performing arts. From the looks of it, you wouldn't necessarily guess that these students are rehearsing for a play by William Shakespeare, but they are. Putting on a Shakespeare is never really done the same way twice. Since his first plays were performed, actors and directors alike have been paying homage to his ingenuity and his vision by discovering new ways to make his work more easily relatable to different audiences. And just as no two productions are the same, neither are their rehearsal processes. I level and your darts, watching them land. <laughs> in this case, students in American University's upcoming production of Measure for Measure begin with intense vocal and physical warm-ups. They practice fight choreography, speaking in meter, detailed scene work, and even death. So how is rehearsing for Shakespeare different from rehearsing for other kinds of theater? It's a lot different than contemporary stuff because the language is so much bigger, so a lot of it comes from voice and speech work, which is, I think, something that we don't really focus on in modern contemporary theater. And also, understanding the text is a lot harder because you have to really focus on what you're saying and the punctuation of what you're saying and what's important in what you're saying. Long before the house is filled with an audience, before the lights are focused and turned on, Hours upon hours are spent fleshing out each scene, and then every moment within each scene. Backstage, you're quiet. The set may be in its earliest stages, but an actor must envision their character's world in full detail. It's definitely a lot more physical. It's um, completely physicalizing each and every word so that you can feel that, and, and through physicalization, you start to memorize. and. Her, her saying is, your body knows. So it's not just the words in Shakespeare and figuring out what they mean, but it's incorporating your entire body and making the whole story just more understandable through the language and the physicalization coming together. Shakespeare may have lived and written his plays over 400 years ago, but his work has become integral to theater education today. Like duck. Quit like and measure still for measure. While all of Shakespeare's original language will be preserved, the play will feature a contemporary setting, facilitated not only by the cast but also by the set and sound designers. Performances begin this Thursday at 8 p.m. I'm Kelsey Edgerly. 
and I'm Idiot Asian. Thank you for watching District Wire News. Goodbye.